Back home, the coalition is declaring it will oppose elements of the tobacco plain packaging legislation. The government is proposing a trademarks amendment bill to accompany its plain pack legislation. Now, the government says that would mean company trademarks that are banned from cigarette packs could be used elsewhere. The coalition spokesman on the issue is Andrew Southcote, and he joins us now from our Canberra studio. Andrew Southcote, good morning. Good morning. What is wrong with this extra level of insurance the government is offering tobacco companies here? Well, the first thing I do want to say is that the coalition supports plain packaging and will be supporting plain packaging in the parliament. But the problem with this secondary piece of legislation is it is a very unusual piece of legislation in that it gives power to the government to override the law of the country. And, so, and that is an extraordinary thing. Uh, parliaments are very reluctant to give this delegated power to governments which overrides the law of the country. We believe that the plain packaging legislation is sufficient and will be able to implement uh, plain packaging on the 1st of July uh, next year. The, the, the trademark bill that we're talking about, um, which is a very minor bill, uh, was never part of the government's exposure draft. The first we saw of it um, was when uh, the government introduced the bills on the 6th of July. But tobacco companies, as you well know, have been railing against the threat to their trademark posed by the plain packaging legislation. Surely you and they should welcome the fact that they can now use these, these trademarks that may not be appearing on cigarette packs anymore on other products, other, other parts of their, their, their corporations. Well, look, the government has in the Department of Health's own submission on this all they have said is that this second piece of legislation is for any unintended consequences which might arise as a result of the plain packaging legislation. That's, that's, that's the now, government being responsible, isn't it? Well, well, the government has always told us that the plain packaging legislation has been robust. Uh, their legal advice is robust. Uh, they have not shared their legal advice with us. But this is really an admission that there may be some problems with the plain packaging legislation. And it's like an escape hatch. It's like a reserve parachute uh, for the government if they've actually bungled the plain packaging laws. The government says this bill is essential. The, the, the two bits of legislation work in tandem. So when it comes down to uh, the push, uh, will the coalition, is the coalition uh, going to be prepared to be seen to be responsible for the government pulling its plain packaging legislation if this, mandatory, if this uh, complementary bill is essential, as the government says? They're not, going to pull, they're not going to pull the plain packaging legislation. We don't accept what the government are saying here. Uh, they've had two years to draft these laws, and this was never originally part of the laws. Um, the exposure draft um, had the plain packaging laws. And so this really is an admission by the government that after two years of drafting, they have bungled it. Most people manage to draft laws that don't require the use of extraordinary powers by ministers and by, and by governments. It's a highly unusual move and it's really an escape hatch or a reserve parachute uh, to get the government out of any problems that they might have with their own drafting. Is the coalition prepared to reconsider accepting donations from tobacco companies? Um, we've said that will be considered um, by, the, by the Liberal Party um, and uh, that's, that's really a matter for the Liberal Party. If you're concerned about the issue of uh, smoking, if you're prepared to support the uh, imposition of plain packaging, surely that would follow uh, that, that stance. Well, look, we've said we're open to it and it's really a discussion that has to be had by the Federal Executive of the Liberal Party. Andrew Southgate in Canberra, thanks very much. Thank you. Well, a change of pace now. We will